Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. Build God's Bartizans. Daniel chapter 1, verses 8 through 9. But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine, and he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way. Verse 8. Through prayer, remnants must build God's partisans. In doing so, answers that transcend time and space will be connected with the 237 nations where they cannot go. During the age of Babylon, there were ancestors of faith who received this answer. First, those ancestors of faith were Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. King Nebuchadnezzar made an idol and told them to bow down before it. However, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego held on to the covenant and didn't bow down. Instead, they raised God's partisan and tore down Satan's partisan. Second, the ancestor of faith was Daniel. Those who were jealous of Daniel tried to kill him. That's why they created a law to kill those who worshipped other gods. That's why Daniel was placed in the den of lions. However, God protected him so. He came out unharmed. Ultimately, God's presence was revealed, and Daniel went on to influence three more kings. Third, the ancestor of faith was Esther. Without revealing that she was a Jew, she quietly raised God's partisan. One day, all the Jewish people were about to be annihilated because of the Haman's slander. At that time, Esther said, If I perish, I perish, and went before the king to tell him about what would happen. Afterwards, she received the answer of Purim, which saved the Jewish people. Through prayer, remnants must take on the challenge of building the partisans of God and tear down Satan's partisans. Dear God, prepare me to become the remnant who raises up your partisans through prayer. I pray in the name of the living Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.